What's up, YouTube? It's uh, Sunday, January 16th, I think, right? Yeah, Sunday, January 16th, and uh, I thought I'd just do a short little uh, video review. Um, it's like 30 degrees out or 25 degrees out of right now or something like that. It's pretty cold, but the sun's shining, so that's nice. Um, I do uh, come out and take a look at my car because currently I have an issue with it again. You know, I know it's... Uh, 13 years old now, but uh, I got coolant leaking from the car overnight. Uh, it doesn't really leak too much while I'm driving it. Once it warms up, it seems like it stops leaking, but then it sits overnight. And no, it is not the water pump because I just replaced the water pump like um, maybe 20,000 miles ago, if that. Uh, the issue appears to be coming from what looks like a, a plastic housing that uh, an antifreeze hose is hooked up to, a coolant hose is hooked up to. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna have to do some research on that and try to figure it out. For now, the leak is slow enough that, I mean, it went from just under the cold fill line last night before I went to bed to just over the low mark. So it's only leaking enough overnight that I have to put in maybe or maybe three or four ounces um, of coolant. Um, hopefully it stays like that. But the, the reason for this video is actually this. This is a, uh, well, as you see, a one and a half ton scissor jack uh, haul master uh, item number 66907. I got it at Harbor Freight uh, because the factory jack that I had with my car, um, it broke on me one day thankfully I wasn't under the car but I had the car jacked up on it and it fell down because all of the threads sheared off of the um, I don't even know what you call that the lift pin um, they had I'd used it many many times to fix this car because I don't have a floor jack and I don't have a garage and um, but anyway uh, there we go it's a little crooked um, so yeah, I've had this about a year. I uh, paid, I think, $27 at Arbor Freight for it. And it's worked out okay. Um, it's got a, you know, a rotating top piece. So if, you know, if you need to, like I have to use it this way and put the supports for my car across the top of this. I put it in here, then it gets jammed up inside the, like it's so tight that it, I almost got this stuck in there one day. Um, I had to hit it with a hammer to get it down. Uh, but as you can see here, it says, uh, if it'll focus, 900 pounds extended six inches or more, 1,200 pounds extended eight inches or more, 1,800 pounds extended 10 inches or more, and 3,000 pounds extended 14 inches or more. Hmm. It's kind of weird. The higher you go up, the more pounds it can hold. Well, anyway, the actual reason I wanted to do this review is because um, aside from it working pretty much as described, uh, this lift pin, um, I would recommend putting some type of a grease on it because like the second time I tried to use it, um, it started to feel kind of grindy and uh, like there was an issue um, with it going up so I packed some uh, bearing grease all up inside of this part of it right here on uh, that side right there and then on this side I put grease all over the end of it here and then like on the outside and on the inside and then I coated the shaft here with grease um, and it slowly started to get better feel better and work better and um, I haven't had in, I think uh, about six months after I had it I had to put a little bit more grease on it um, but you know it comes with three pieces it's got uh, the jack and then this handle that you slip in here and then you put the, the other piece of the handle on the end like this you can do this one-handed or not we go and then you just crank it one hand goes here the other hand goes here and you use this hand to stabilize 
um, the the bar uh, to whatever position keeps you from smacking your knuckles on the ground whenever you twist the handle because that's basically the way you do it you keep it as low as possible as straight as possible like this outward and uh, keep it just high enough that you keep your hand from smacking the ground with um, or hit, hitting your knuckles on the ground with it uh, these are the dangers that it has on it uh, let's see study understand and follow all instructions before operating this device do not exceed rated capacities at specified heights do not use if jack cannot be extended at least six inches before lifting the load do not use blocks underneath or above jack use only on hard hard level surfaces use only for emergency tire changing or mounting tire chains never get underneath the vehicle when it is supported by the jack oops if vehicles pushed off jack discard jack do not reuse so basically that means that if it if the jack tips over and the vehicle falls you don't want you to reuse it probably because it will more than likely bend one of these pins and make it to where the jack will not be safe or stable to be used again uh, wear ANSI approved safety goggles and heavy duty work gloves during use oops keep clear of load while lifting and lowering do not use for aircraft purposes okay apply parking brake and chalk tires before lifting vehicle lift vehicle only at manufacturer recommended locations yeah, like the side of the road is ever a manufacturer recommended location. Inspect before every use. Do not use if parts become loose or damaged. So yeah, that's it. Um, like I said, it's it's worked pretty much as advertised for what I need it for, which is pretty much everything. Um, I'm hoping to get a floor jack soon so that I don't have to use it for everything. First of all, it's slow. Second of all... I might smack my hand on the ground and injure my knuckles or shave some skin off on the concrete. And uh, a third of all, floor jacks are just safer. Um, that's one of the things that I have on my wish list is uh, to get myself a, a floor jack and a couple of jack stands. Most of the time I go over to my parents' house and use the stuff that my dad and my brother have um, in their garage, especially during the winter time because the garage can be heated. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't have any qualms about using this floor jack or this, uh, scissor jack. It works pretty good. Um, like I said, I would definitely grease up the lift screw, um, and the two places on both ends where the lift screw goes into and out of and spins because it was, it was second use. It was all grindy and felt like it was going to just rip itself apart. Um, it was like they didn't put enough grease on it from the factory, um, the stuff I put on it was just some uh, red bearing grease that I had. It was a, a high temp bearing grease. And uh, it seems to have worked pretty good so far. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for today. Um, again, this is a review of the Hallmaster one and a half ton scissor jack. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't get to read these parts. It says, simple spin action quickly lifts the vehicle from 3 and 3 8 inch to 15 and 1 8 inch. Folds compactly to fit most trunks for tool compartments. Heavy duty steel construction includes spare speed bar with spin handle, powder coated for rust resistance. So, yeah. I guess the highlights of, uh, of the tool. So, um, if you like this content, again, this is Jesse's World. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.